Hey everybody, welcome to Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes. I'm sitting here today with Justin Jankowski and we'd like to go over the typical steps of buying a Golden Eagle home. Justin, being in sales, you and I both get a lot of the same calls. It's either uh, customers just got done watching our YouTube videos, maybe they've been on our website, they've kind of found a plan they like, they just purchased you know, some land. Um, maybe they're a couple years out and they're just trying to establish that time frame of what do I need to be prepared for? Um, I guess, what's the first step we sh you typically tell customers? Where do we start out? Right, and the first step kind of starts even prior to us. Um, most people are going to use utilize a, a lender. So I, I suggest people getting into a lender and they'll be able to establish a budget for you. You know, they'll take a look at your debts and assets and incomes and put together a clear picture, you know, a budget of what now you can spend on that home. And, you know, if you need to, you know, if you need to purchase land, um, that, that budget that they give you will be able to put towards the land and the home itself. So really it kind of starts before Golden Eagle and establishing that budget of what you're looking to spend on that new home. Absolutely, and, and once they've established that budget and they give us a call, um, we find a plan, we work with the customer, we find a plan that, that suits what they're looking for, falls within that budget for a, for a build price, uh, we go through a series of questions. You know, that's our step one, right? Doing that ballpark, ballpark pricing. Yep. We're going to go through a series of questions as far as what style of home. Golden Eagle offers full log, half log, quarter log, exposed beam, ultra custom timber. So we're going to establish what style of home do you want to build? Um, what modifications do you want to make to the floor plan you're looking at on our website? You know, we have an in-house design team here. So all of our plans are completely customizable. Nobody's ever just bought that plan as it is. So we're gonna ask what modifications you want, what style home, what level of amenities are you thinking about putting in this home? And then as a sales rep, we put together a real clear picture of a ballpark for our package and what we think the build is gonna cost them. You know, once they add in the excavation, foundation, electrician, plumber, uh, furnace, air conditioner, you know, that kind of stuff, what's A plus B equals the C, right? Right, yeah, I think that's one of the many things we do good here at Golden Eagle is ballpark pricing, you know, and uh, I tell people, like you said, find a plan, because the plan is gonna dictate a lot of the cost of that home, you know, whether it's a two-story, single-story home or a finished walkout, um, and then the package contents, you know, are, we offer the most, ex most exclusive package, most complete package in the log and timber industry, so we can develop a very accurate materials cost for that home, which in turn, uh, it turns into more accurate, completely built costs like you were just mentioning. You know, there's also some things that, that are hard to determine at this point, especially if you don't own land. You know, the, I call them site improvements. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be costs like the, the septic, the well, uh, the driveway, the landscaping. You know, those are gonna be site-specific items. And those can get into proposals once we get to that, to that step four. But at this point, it's hard to determine. So the turnkey, the approximate turnkey pricing that you see on the website are still uh, minus those costs. It's just because they're hard to determine at this right. point. Because we don't know if you're building on the back of a 20 acre lot, on the front of a one acre lot, right. how deep yeah. your well is going to have to be, that kind of stuff, what you're going to perk out for. Yeah, for sure. So once we've established that ballpark, we've uh, we've gotten it off to the customer. They feel comfortable with that number, you know, because they've already talked to the bank. We're ready to, to move on to step number two, which is what we call the plan service stage. We're gonna start establishing that blueprint then with you. We're gonna draw it to your local codes. We're gonna make those modifications we discussed during the ballpark phase, mm -hmm. right? And start establishing that layout with you, the, the foundation, first floor, loft, go back and forth. The design service is really meant to, first of all, come up with the design of the home, make all the changes you want to it. And then from, from those plans, we're gonna eventually develop the proposal. So we wanna make sure those plans um, you know, are very accurate. Our, our preliminary plans are, are what you're gonna see a lot of times at, as final construction documents from other companies. So very complete set of preliminary plans um, from us. Get and, all the details you want on there, mm -hmm. you know, ceilings, finishes, Definitely. all that kind of stuff back and forth. And we allow customers to make multiple revisions too. Right, right. You know, so. And that's step three is plan revision. So yeah. we're gonna allow up to 50 revisions with that, that preliminary design service um, to get those plans just right. You know, most people have a very clear picture because of the ballpark pricing we've done in that first step. Um, but uh, yeah, we allow up to 50 revisions with that design service. At that point, we have a real good gauge of what they're putting into that home. 
So then we submit that for our proposal, correct? Right. Yep, yep. yep. We, we, we take those then, those plans and submit it to our design team, and they're going to develop the, the preliminary proposal. And then at this time, you know, plans are getting sent out to the builders because, you know, usually when you first talk to builder, the first thing he's going to ask is, well, do you have a design? Do you have a set of plans? And, and now you do, you know, so now he can take those plans, develop his cost to build the home, get them out to his subcontractors, develop their cost to build the home. And then with the two numbers you have from the builder and from us, you essentially know what the, what that home is going to cost at this stage. And, and really what you've got invested is the design service, which you're going to need no matter where, where or what you do. A lot of customers call up and they think, well, can I talk to a builder right away just so I can get his numbers? Like you just, just said, most builders yeah. are going to be real vague until they see plans, right? Because mm, exactly. you can tell them what you're thinking, what's in your head, but they don't want to bid it unless they see it on paper right. kind of thing. So that's why establishing that ballpark, getting that plan service done to get to that point where now we've got our proposal, like you said, our proposal, right. their proposal. And because we're doing the complete package, really those are the two numbers you need. Yeah, right. You yeah. know, that's all you're taking to the bank. That's what you're then going back to that lender that you initially talked with and saying, hey, now I've got my complete yep. old price. It's right there, right? Because we're including everything for the home. The builder's picking up the you know, the labor side and mm -hmm. A plus B equals C, as they say, right? right? You bet. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Yep. And then this is at the stage too. I also get the question to, you know, hey, I'm looking for a builder to walk the property with me. And, you know, at this point, this is typically where he would do it. Like I said, he's got a set of plans he can reference while he's on the site. Um, you know, if we send them out there before a design is done, he's kind of kind of shooting from the hip yep. there. Yeah, this, this may work. This may work. You know, but now he has a very clearer picture of what uh, what's going to be built and you know these are still preliminary plans at this point and if they need to be flipped or if something needs to be adjusted moved a couple feet here and there uh, we certainly can before it going to in that final stage so yeah absolutely a lot of customers get held up on that well what if i don't know if my driveway comes in i need to build it out yeah here the right you know and usually we do tell them once we get the plans laid out and they're pretty much ready to go to final we still want you to walk the property with the builder get his number because that's how he's going to be accurate with his number yeah. Um, and he may make some final last minute suggestions that we can still alter Definitely. at that point. The next step would, uh, if I recall, would be them coming in and now let's do those final selections, right? Right. That's the, the fun day for most of the customers. Yeah, no doubt. That's why um, I usually say this is the fun step, step <laughs> five. Uh, you know, and that, that's the beauty of Golden Eagle and the complete package is, is really coming in and making these selections. You know, um, it's usually a day spent with our design team, our selections team, and uh, making those fine-tuned adjustments, you know, picking out your cabinetry, the stain, the door style, uh, the wood species, gla glazing, whatever you want, you know, your stones, interior doors, faucets, all that, all that fun stuff you get to pick out in one spot. You know, you can literally, they literally walk around the showroom with you and, and put together the, those items, and you can see it coming together and see that it looks awesome literally that day. So there's no need to go uh, to different vendors and try to carry around samples from, from different stores and put this together. It's all it's all done right here. It's awesome. And a lot of customers don't think of the little details that color matching things or what, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you forget the doorknobs, you forget the faucets oh, that you yeah, want to select right. with yeah, this, yeah. things like that, you know, where coming here, um, we know, during we our know selection you're process, need that. right. Yeah. And, and, and Zach and Dale, I believe, do just an excellent job of this really complements this, or what? What scheme are you going for? Mm -hmm. Complementary, contrasting, right? Color They're, palettes put together yeah, for you. And yep. Yeah, it's really, it's it's really the, the the important step here at Goldie. Really, what sets us apart from everybody else is, is that selection step. With, with other companies, is they'll they'll leave a bunch of allowances in there for the for these items. Basically, sign a contract at this point, and now you know when the contractor starts building the home. The, you know, he's telling you to go pick out cabinets, go pick out your interior doors, your faucets. And now you come to find out that these allowances that they were leaving you aren't getting you what you want. And sure. now that's where you see that price creep at the end of the build. Where now at Golden Eagle, you're making these selections, you're making informed decisions, you're not rushed because the job isn't sitting there half completed. You're making these, these, these decisions before the home is even started uh, so you can make educated decisions. You know, and, and the way lead times are right now, you know, if a contract, you know, if the home is being built and the contractor goes and tells you to try to pick out your cabinetry and it may take you a couple of weeks to figure that design out. And now cabinetry is eight weeks out. Now you've just pushed the timeline of that, that build. So with our process, we're taking care of this all up front. 
before the home even starts. That That's the beauty of our process. We do so much work up front before that job starts that once it starts, it goes really smoothly. I mean, the contractor is calling up and ordering items when he wants them, when he needs them, and we're not delaying that 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 uh, final build date. So, yeah, that no, that's... moving date, I should say. So, so really, like you've touched on, a lot of other places leaving allowances and stuff, when customers come in and do that final selections, we're able then to take any adjustments they made at that point, roll that into our preliminary proposal because we were still on that proposal stage, right? Correct. And yep. that's how we get that contract. So, you know, as long as there's no change orders from that point, the customer knows exactly what, the, what, what that house are. is, yeah. right? Yep. Yep. Um, so, so they've got those real numbers. They're not still, like you said, working off of assumptions and allowances, or allowances right. yep. if, you th- mm-hmm. if you will, you know, and who knows if they put enough in for you. Right. Right. Yeah, it could just be the builder's taste and not the actual taste of the, cons- right. the customer. Just what you've seen in the past yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Once you've done your selections, like you said, roll back into the preliminary proposal, which was done at step four. Step five, your selections. Step six is is preparing that final contract for you once your selections are made. And, and that's that's where you place a deposit. And we really start moving forward. And at that point, you know, we'll start milling material for you. More importantly, we start those final construction documents. That's- so now those those preliminary plans that were done previously are maybe four or five pages long. Now they're going to turn into 20, 25 pages long long of construction documents. So floor, truss layouts, details, cross sections, you know, everything that, that you're going to need, the contractor is going to need to build that home is going to be included into those into those documents. Those those final construction documents plans are awesome. I and mean, if they need to be stamped by an engineer, we're doing that as well. Um, all the details done are done in Google SketchUp, so in color. I mean, they're, they're awesome plans. They really are. Um, and then we're also, like I said, milling material at that point too. Um, you know, but after you sign that contract, you can start receiving material in about eight to ten weeks. Is usually what it is. You know, just depending on the time of the year, and uh, and the the schedule of your builder as well. So. Yep. And a lot of customers ask that question too. Towards the end, when you when you tell them the typical process, they always say, "Well, how long is it going to take to get?" through the process, right? Yep, yep. I always tell customers it's largely dependent upon how many changes you're gonna make, right? That revision stage, mm-hmm. how much time are you, are you gonna spend modifying the plans, right? Yep. Um, but then customers seem to, at least in my experience, a lot of customers are, well, how long does it then take you to get everything together and ship it? Oh, right, right. yeah. And they think yeah. there's like this big process that we're getting all the materials together before we can start delivering. That's not the case. Right, right. You know, we're gonna get through the final engineering get the plans out, the builder's gonna work on getting the permits and you know, getting mm. the foundation ready. So when he calls to get that first delivery, we're ready to ship the first f- delivery because it's right. mostly gonna be floor systems, you know, your framing and your log, right? Basement framing, we're not, we're not is, shipping yeah. you everything at once. So right. a lot of people think, oh, we're gonna need another three months beyond that just to get all the materials together. That's not the case. We can ship within usually, like you said, eight to 10 weeks of, right. of signed contract, depending on how fast you want it. Yeah. You know? And to, to talk about the signed contract and what it takes to move forward, it, one of them is that signed contract. Uh, banks love that. You know, they're not paying, you know, some other companies may request a lot of that payment or most of that payment when that first delivery leaves. Because a lot of times they're shipping everything on day one. Sure. I mean, you're getting, I mean, if they're providing millwork items, they're shipping that on, on day one. Um, that's not the case with us. You know, like I said, we stay our deliveries. We don't want those interior items out there on the job site getting exposed to weather. Oh, stagger deliveries along with payments. Makes sense. Really, that only took about <laughs> really five minutes to get through those six steps. No, <laughs> no it usually takes a couple months to get to get through the steps, um, but uh, we take these steps uh, through the building process because we have found this is what has worked best for everybody involved, us, more importantly, you, the client, and, and the builder. Um, it really works, it works well for all parties involved. I mean, we've been doing this for five decades, and um, this is the best way that we have found to get to get you into that beautiful new home. So. Yeah. And and I'm sure you do just like I do. We always email the template along to customers so they can follow along. Exactly. Yep. Start you off on the right foot. Make sure we 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 design a home that that fits the budget you want to maintain. You know.